I make this to bring glory and honor to Father God, Lord Jesus, Yashem Shiat, and the Holy Spirit, the Rock Kadesh. Um, I wanted to make this about, you know, celebrities I've seen. You know, I don't like talking about hell. You know, a lot of people treat me like, hey, you know, you know, like, tell us who's in hell. You know, we like to know who's in hell. You know, please, you know, and, um, and, and it's like, hold on, hold on. Um, and it's like a lot of people just, it's like, it seemed like they, it seemed like they like saying, about you know they they like hearing about the people in hell you know like celebrities in hell you know and um and when I share these videos you know I I don't share them to boast or to 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 for 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 glory personal satisfaction not at all um when I talk about hell I don't like talking about it when I share the video I share it. It's like when I shared the video I shared, you know, about hell, it's not something I like talking about. It was what I what I seen and what I tell brothers and sisters in Christ so they don't have to go on that way, you know, so they don't have to think about pleasures of this world, you know. Um, so when you look at these people, you don't feel like, oh, man, I wish I had what they had. Because in that video for the end result, is it really worth it? You know, and um, and I don't like asking about it. You know, people, I, I'm going to be honest with you. It's instinctive for mankind to look at the injustice or the justice being carried out someone. Or to see someone in hell or see this. Because it's like we feel like we're judges, you know. And, um, and I... <laughs> I want to share what I shared with someone, you know, I, I realized I don't even think this was for me, you know, because it's something I couldn't share on my own accord when I replied to this person. And I want to tell you what I said, you know, um, I'm just telling you because when I shared it, it was almost like this wasn't me. Um, hold on. I'm gonna tell you what I said, you know, because it's like I, I be honest, when I said it, it's almost like I was trying to bring it up, but I I forgot it, you know, because I, I don't even feel like it was for me to say, you know, but what I said, I was like, man, what am I you know, what I'm saying, like, you know, all glory go to God, but what I'm sharing it, I, it's something I couldn't come up on on my own accord. And I was sharing this, you know, um, I was telling this person, I don't like talking about hell or asking who is or who isn't. This is something I needed to share for the sake of informing about the pleasures of this life. But it is not fun for me. People like to know who's in hell. You know, where they can judge, you know, that person. Where they can judge that person like who's in hell, you know, so they can judge that person. But none of us are righteous judges. It is instinctive for us. To like to see injustice or justice carried out on another person. It's sad. Try not to dwell on these things for it is not for us to know and judge. Um, and when I shared it, you know, I, I, when I shared that, I didn't know what to say, you know, because this wasn't my intellect. You know, I, um, you know, I know when it's something I share, but I know when it's something that's, you, you know, when. Um, and to be honest with you, you know. A lot of brothers and sisters in Christ like to watch stuff that they got no business watching or see this and be like, and just to judge them. And I don't like that. I don't do that. I never had that in me. Like when I see that, like, oh man, I'm going to watch this video just to see how man fall. And hey, I want to see this just so I can see how evil man is. Have you ever turned and see like people like to see, you know, and it irked me. Like, and I think of Jesus, you know. The Pharisees, they just like to see this done in Jesus, like, so they can judge him and feel like they better than him. You know, like, really? Have you ever thought about that? You know, and, um, but none of us are righteous judges. None of us is without sin. None of us. The reason why I share this is because 
I mean, I'm no better than anyone. If someone say to me, Ray, you're a good man, I'm quick to say, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. You know, I would say to them this. You know, when um, so I say that, you know, when it come to, you know, people like, hey, tell me who's in hell. You know, like, yo, I, I don't like talking about it. I don't. I mean, I share what I see so people can be encouraged, so people can know. But I don't find joy in it. I don't find satisfaction. The injustice is when I share with people what I've seen, people, in a sense, are not convinced. Like, nah, I'm not convinced. Yo, you're full of crap. Like, like I got something to lie about. You know, um, I say to you, I'm not here to sell. And to you that are not persuaded, not convinced, think whatever, you know, I'm not here to convince you or persuade you, but I will say this to you. You know, I will say this to you, what Jesus shared about Lazarus and the rich man when the rich man was in hell. And the rich man said when he saw he couldn't get no water, he said to Abraham, this one last thing I ask of you, send Lazarus to my father's home, for I have five brothers. Let him warn them. Tell them so they don't got to come to this place when they die. And Abraham said to Dives, the rich man, they have Moses. They have the prophets. Let your brothers hear them. And the rich man was just talking in screams. He's not talking. When you're in hell, you ain't talking like how I'm talking now. You're talking screams. And the news is like, no, but if someone comes to them from the dead, then they will repent. And Abraham said to him, no, for if they won't listen to Moses and if they won't listen to the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, even if someone is raised from the dead. There's a brother in Christ I'm close with. His name is Sean Wee. He had a hell testimony. You know, you can check him out. Just Sean Wee, hell testimony. And, you know, and I talked with him, you know, about, you know, everything he's seen, you know, um, Everything he's seen, you know, after, after, basically after the video cut off. And if they won't listen to Moses, and if they won't listen to the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, even if someone is raised from the dead. I share this with you, um... Off that, on, a, on another note, I'll tell you about the celebrities I've seen in heaven. I like talking about heaven, you know. Heaven is, like, right up my alley, you know. Like, you know, you know, like, gosh, right up my alley. Like, no, it's, like, right. It's high. It's higher than the earth. It's higher than space. Really, like, yeah. Anyways, when I seen, when I seen heaven, man, it's like the celebrities I've seen in heaven, y'all. Glory to God, you know. Um, i seen in heaven, i seen Abraham. You know, Abraham, you know, uh, I know I forgot I was walking with my companion. I was so caught up in how good she looked. Abraham was like, still my bosom, still my bosom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he was just like, still my bosom, still my bosom. Standing here, still standing there. You know, and um, and I was like, oh, snap, my bad. Walked back up to him, gave him my heart, you know. Because when you get to heaven, he, hey, you know what I'm saying? When you see him, he's going to be like, yeah, it's still my bosom. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's still my bosom. And, um, <laughs> I ain't seen him in a while, you know. And, um, when I seen, I've also seen, um, you know, often I seen him, um, I seen, when I seen Jesus, man, just, you know, when I heard him, just love float through me. You know, I, I wanted to share that first, you know, like, I should have shared Jesus first, because, you know, just the love, just the love, man, like, yo, I'm hugging my father right here, man, you know, and, um, just something bad, you know, and, um, <laughs> You know, the son of man, you know, like I'm hugging the son of man, like, you know, give him the kisses on the cheek because he's my father, you know. And, um, and I'm going to tell you who I seen in the kingdom, you know, I, I um, and I'll tell you, um, when I seen Left Eye, 
you know, when I seen the list, it's like, I don't like divas. I never like glamour girls, like divas, like, you know, I, I never really did, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because to me, they always like, yo, you more hassle than you're worth. You really are. You're not baiting me in, you know, like, and I always had that mentality. Like, you know, I always dug a lid. Like, you know, she just was kind of like the human I was really into. And I couldn't explain it, but I just was. I was always attracted to this kind of female. And and I seen her and she gave me a hug, you know. And I was a little shy, yo. Like, a little shy about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, but I'm sure, like, I'm going to play it off like a G. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure. Like, hey, what's up? Gave a hug. I seen left out, left out. I was like, hey, what's up? What's up? And I'm like, yo, what's up? You know, I gave a hug. It's my sister, y'all. She, and she was so cool about it. Like, hey, what's up? What's up? And that was so cool, you know. Um, and and then I seen Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor looked real good, you know. Um, Richard Pryor, man, he looked real good. I know it's him, and I never forgot, you know, when I got to heaven, he was like, "Hey, don't come here trying to take my comedic work." And I'm like, "Yo, what you talking about? Take your comedic work? I just got here, man. I'm, I plan on being in the fortress of solitude, man. It's just gonna be me and the significant other, y'all. Like, like, you gotta trip me to come out of my mansion." <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just how I get down, man, for real. And I was just telling her, what you mean? I just got it, you know. And I'm going to tell you who else I seen in the kingdom of heaven. I seen Paul Walker. And brothers and sisters in Christ, like, you know, you spend your time reading the Bible. You spend your time praying to the Lord. You spend your time trying to understand, you know, the scriptures. And I tell you, you know, God is just and merciful, man. Jesus is just and merciful. And when I seen Paul Walker, it's like he was looking at me and I seen him have like books like he was at a college. And I realized he was studying things of the Bible. He was having books like like, you know, college books like and I already knew they were biblical books, you know, and he was learning things of the Bible. And I knew this, you know, and he was just walking around and he was at a college. And I thought that was cool, man. Um you know, seen him look good and everything. You know, he looked good here even when he was here, but in the kingdom of heaven, man, he really looked decent, man. You know, um, he looked, he was a good looking guy, but I realized he wasn't a pretty boy. And so even in the kingdom of heaven, when I saw him, like, he kind of had that, like, scruff look with him, you know. You know, because he, he wasn't a pretty boy. Like, people made him to be that, but he wasn't. Um, another person in the kingdom of heaven I was talking about, I didn't see him was uh Raul Julia. I never forgot, you know, I was just, you know, me and a brother in Christ, you know, and it was Jesus present. You know, I was like, is Raul Julia with me? Jesus like, of course he is with me. He is funny. Like, you know, and I have and even when I look at interviews of him or I just I sometimes just see him in the kingdom. He is funny, like and and he's a joy to Jesus. Raul Julia, you know, the guy from Adam's family. Or a Street Fighter too, you know, when he played bison. Um, that's really, I like talking about who's in the kingdom of heaven. You know, people say, hey, ask if this person I have. Ask if this person's a, to be honest, I'm to the point where I don't even want to ask it anymore. Um, I really don't. I, I don't like asking it. Um, oh, I did see, I'm going to tell you, I almost forgot who I did see in the kingdom of heaven. Uh, uh, uh. Uncle Philip from Fresh, you know, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Philip Banks, the guy that played, uh, he was, he played the first, he played Shredder back in the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle days, you know, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Uncle Phil. I saw when he, when he died, you know, I saw like what it was like when he entered the kingdom of heaven, and he was just like, oh, wow, wow, and I saw that, I saw that on his face. You know, um, I like when Jesus shares things like that with me. I like talking about heaven, you know. Um, I talk about hell because, make no mistake about it, it's real. It's not like a desire for me to talk about it. Like, hey, I like to talk about hell. No. Jesus told me, when you come home to me, in the kingdom of heaven, when you're ready, I'll take you where you can see that place for your, you know, because it's something 
you know, and this was something I needed to understand, like, Jesus, what is this place, you know, and I needed to understand, because ever since I was a kid, I needed it, I understood, I understood it, my spirit man understood it, you know, like, when you see someone in the flames, you know, they're always burning, like, my mind, even when I was, like, real young, like, three, four, I understood where I was, I couldn't explain it, um, I, um, oh, Macho Man Randy Savage made it into the kingdom as well. I know I forgot, you know, um, you know, ooh, yeah, like, yeah, you know, he made it, you know, and glory to God. Um, I tell you, brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, glory to God. You know, um. When you listen to these videos, go to the Lord yourself. You know, because all I know is partial and incomplete. I share what I see, nothing more. All I, you know, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a laid back dude, you know, and I'm not someone that relies and leans on my own understanding, my own wisdom, and knowledge, because all that I know is partial and incomplete. You could be a mathematical genius, brighter than Albert Einstein ever was. Oh, and he made it into the kingdom of heaven. I never forgot Jesus was like, hey, when it came out, hey, Ray, he's, and I was like, I don't want to know. Ray, he's, I don't want to know. I was going to tell you, he's with me. Oh, you know, and because I didn't want to hear if he was not, uh, you know, I didn't want to hear he was in hell. And he was like, yeah, he's with me, Ray. And he still has that ridiculous mustache <laughs> that he had, you know, he still has it, you know. That's what I have to share. The celebrities I've seen in heaven. May you be encouraged. Um. I want to share uh, some other things in another video I'm about to post after this one. May y'all be blessed.